Hey everyone, I'm Sonali, co-founder of Growth BI, a modern data analytics consultancy where we help businesses build scalable data solutions. When working with Azure Data Factory, ensuring smooth data pipeline execution is essential. In this video, we'll go over effective ways to monitor and debug pipelines, helping you identify issues quickly and optimize performance. If you are looking to enhance your ADF workflows, you are in the right place. Let's dive in. Hi, let's see today how we can monitor and debug pipelines in Azure Data Factory. In this video, I'm going to show you how to monitor pipeline performance and debug errors efficiently. Specifically, we are going to highlight the following using the ADF monitoring dashboard, diagnosing pipeline failures, and I will discuss some tips to improve pipeline performance and reliability. So let's start. Let's launch our Azure Data Factory Studio. For monitoring the pipeline progress, go to the left sidebar, click Author, and just simply go to the existing pipelines, like for example, Pipeline 3. Then let's select the activity. So we have built the pipeline for copy data activity. And we would trigger the pipeline by clicking Add Trigger and then Trigger Now. Then just click OK. So the pipeline is now running. Now let's click on View Pipeline Run. So here you can see that the activity status actually shows the progress or the status of the pipeline. Now this pipeline is queued. After some time, it will show that the pipeline succeeded. See? So our copy data activity actually succeeded. Just in case the pipeline fails, it would show why it failed and where the failure is coming. For example, let us run a pipeline that is bound to fail. Let's try this pipeline. We can also debug it if we are not sure. As you can see, the pipeline status in progress. Then you can see in the status that it is queued. And after some time, it might succeed or it might fail. Let's see. Oops, it also succeeded. Never mind. But to add the gists, we know that the activity status tells us if our pipeline succeeded or failed. Assuming that this pipeline failed, we can click on these details and here it would tell us where our pipeline actually failed. Now to monitor our data pipeline, just click on monitor on the left sidebar. And we can see all the pipelines that we ran are actually listed here. In this column, you can check the run start date. We can also see how these are triggered. We can also see the duration to check how much time the data pipeline actually took to run. If we click the consumption, we can see the self-hosted runtime and data movement activities. You can also calculate the pricing. So this is how we can see the details. Now let's see how we can monitor the pipeline failures through the monitoring dashboard or diagnostic settings. When we come to the home of MS Azure, we can see the monitoring tab. Under that is the alerts, metrics, diagnostic settings, and logs. We can see in this area the pipeline runs, activity runs, trigger runs, integration runtime CPU, and integration runtime memory. When the pipeline shows failed, we can click on this and it would show how much time it failed. In this case, it is zero because our pipelines are running actively and successfully. So this is how we can diagnose or monitor our pipeline's failure and success. Now the biggest question which I get is what are the tips for improving pipeline performance? One of the major tip is to always try to use the Azure integration runtime. Why? Because Azure integration runtime provides all the right resources and elements for all the kind of pipeline it hosts. The second tip is, if the data you are retrieving is big, always try to pull it in chunks or in pieces. Or we can say you can use pagination techniques and or trigger it like in the way that it always comes in chunks and not pull all the data at once. If you want to retrieve the data, the next important thing would be always use lookup or good transformation on mapping techniques to map your data to the source. These were some of the tips which can help improving the pipeline performance and reliability. That's all for this video. Thank you.